Sure. So Frank talked a little uh, talked about the overall study. So this slide talks more a little bit more about the healthcare study, um, where we analyzed in the healthcare part of our IPO study, we analyzed 31 companies, and within that within that group, the lion's share, 78 percent of them, were biotech, biopharm. Um, as Bernie mentioned, that was very strong market for most of 2013. On the on the size of the deals, they were actually um, on a relative basis, they were even smaller than the size that Frank mentioned with respect to the entire study, where it, with the healthcare uh, universe that we looked at, less than 20% had an IPO deal size of, of over 150 million. Um, so most of them, 58%, were less than 100 million dollars. So some of those were, um, you know, downsizings that happened as we get closer to pricing. But there, you know, there are there are a lot of deals coming and um, coming at the below 100 million dollar level. I'd be curious, actually. Um, but Bernie's perspective on that, I mean, I, I remember kind of years back where you always wanted to make sure your deal was, you know, more than 100 million, and that was kind of an execution concern. And, and I think um, in recent times, probably the last few years, we've been seeing a, a tremendous amount of deal flow in the sub-100 million dollar deal size. Yeah, and this is something that's hard to, to convey sometimes to issuers, um, when you want the demand curve for equity to be linear, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, what happens is when you get to a below $100 million pre-money equity value, the world kind of goes to hell, right? You lose a lot of supply, you lose a lot of demand, there's a lot of funds that will not play it, it's just not going to be liquid enough. And so you have to account for that when you're initially planning to hit the road and filing. So if you're going out there on the cover with $125 million pre-money equity value, you don't have a lot of wiggle room mm -hmm. in case things go bad and the market's telling you that it should probably be 80 or 90. And if you do have a sub $100 million equity value, then you're talking about a downsized transaction, probably closer to 30 or 40 million. And that's really not an IPO. Right. And so it's just something to keep in mind uh, when you're out there. Most people are out there trying to raise in the 70 to 90 million. And that's kind of the sweet spot. Um, with your ability to upsize from there, um, should the demand be appropriate. Great. On the aftermarket performance, I mean, you can see that this shows you the comparison of the healthcare IPOs in our study versus all the 100 IPOs that we studied. The, and that you can see the performance is pretty consistent among both both sets, and strong performance all around um, for last year's deals. 